You probably seen this kind of stunning 3D animations while watching the latest Dimangaz videos. In this tutorial, we're gonna recreate all of these eye catching 3D animations step by step using nothing but After Effects. First, we'll start by building the ground and setting up the lightning to create a realistic scene. Then, we'll dive into the second scene exactly as seen in the reference video. And finally, we'll wrap up with a third scene using only free 3D objects. If you are an editor looking to level up your animation skills, access 85 plus video like 3D Imangaz animations and learn viral editing styles inside of an edit master academy. The link is down below. With this in mind, let's start our first scene. First of all, we're gonna create 1920x1080 composition and their name as scene 1. Then let's go ahead and import our first 3D object which is chessboard. I'm gonna click the make comp size to make it smaller and since we add 3D object now our render settings adjusted to advanced 3D. Now we're gonna use this chessboard as a ground of our scene but we need much bigger ground than that so I'm gonna pre-compose the layer and call it ground. After turning the 3D let's go inside the pre-comp layer, open the composition settings and change the resolution to 2500 by 2500 so we can make much bigger ground. Then I'm gonna duplicate the chessboard on the timeline and place it right here then duplicate one more time and place it to the bottom and we'll select all the layers place it to the left and finally duplicate two more time to get this big ground awesome now let's go back to our main composition and adjust the precom layers x rotation to minus 90 and place it here on the scene. Then I'm gonna right click and create a new one node camera layer. And after that, I will import our 3D main character into the timeline and click on main comp size. After placing here on the scene and setting the scale amount to 30, I'm gonna turn on the two view and set the camera angle carefully by repositioning the camera and our main character like so. So now it's time to create our text layer. I will write social media is not real life as same as the reference video. I will drop the font with all the assets in the description so you can check it out. Perfect. Now I'm gonna turn on the 3D for the text layer and place it right behind of the man and scale it down. Now let's go ahead and pre-comp our text layer and turn on the 3D on the timeline. I will go inside the pre-comp, right click to the text layer and select create shapes from text option. This will allow us to control each word easily. So let's select the letters for the first word and turn off the other letters. Then we'll duplicate the shape layer and select the next letters. Then I will duplicate it again and do the same steps for the other words. And we'll get each word as a layer on the timeline. To make a smooth opener for our text, I will select all the layers and set the opacity amount to zero at the first frame. Then about 20 frame later, I will set 100% again. And I'm also gonna give 5 frame gap between each layer so they will open one by one smoothly. And finally, let's change our render settings to classic 3D and add the deep glow effect to each layer with a radius 500 and exposure of 0.2. Perfect. Now let's go back to our main composition and place the text layer to a little bit up and more closer to the man on the scene. Then I'm gonna right click and create a new spotlight on the timeline. And with the help of the second view, I'm gonna change the spotlight's rotation about 90 degree and place it around on top of the main character on the scene. And inside of the light options, let's set the cone angle to 25 and intensity to 130%. And just like that, we got a pretty cool lighting effect. Awesome. Now, we don't need to create a light for the text layer. Just head into Precomps Material Options and switch off Accept Shadows and Accept Lights. But as you can see, once we did that, now the deep glow effect looks stuck inside of the Precomp. And to fix this, we'll basically reduce the deep glow radius amount from 500 to 100 for each layer. Now it is looking much better. So let's go ahead and duplicate the spotlight layer on the timeline and to affect all the ground, increase the cone angle to around 120% and finally change the light color to dark blue. To add camera motion to our scene, I will create a position and orientation keyframes at the 2 second mark and move the camera to this spot at the first frame. After converting all the keyframes to easy ease, I will extend the duration by one more second and here is how it looks so far. Let's also shift the text precomp 20 frames ahead so it shows up at the right moment. And for the spotlight, I will move the playhead here on the timeline and add intensity and cone angle keyframes. And at the first frame, let's set the intensity to 40 and cone angle to 12. After converting these keyframes to easy ease, here is how it looks. Let's also add some small particles from assets folder to make our scene look more richer and set the opacity mode to color dodge. 
And finally, I'm gonna create an adjustment layer and add vignette effect to corner of the scene. And to get more cinematic look, I will also add noise effect and set the noise amount to 10. With this in mind, we finished our first animation. And speaking of the animations, if you wanna deep dive into style like this and start earning income from After Effects, Premiere Pro and even CapCut, you're gonna access over 85 courses that teach you step by step how to create advanced animations like Iman Gazi editing style and step by step edit viral videos from scratch inside of an edit master academy. Plus you will get 75 GB of assets from backgrounds to glowing icons and 24 7 online community so you can ask any questions and get some reviews on your video. Click the link down below and join Edit Master Academy today. Now let's jump into our next scene. First of all, let's create a new 1920 by 1080 composition and call it Scene 2. Then I will copy the layers that we created from the Scene 1 and paste it to our new composition. We don't need the title anymore so let's remove that and I'm gonna double click to camera layer and change the camera type to 2 node camera and click OK. The reason we change it is because of we're gonna give kind of following rotation movement to the camera and by doing that we have no point of interest settings anymore. So let's go ahead and place the point of interest dot on the main character by using the second view and I will also change the X rotation of the main character to 90 degree. Now before creating the walls to behind of the man I'm gonna turn off the lights temporarily then right click and create a solid layer and pre -comp it. Then we're gonna change the pre -comp resolution to 1080 by 1920 to make the walls vertical. Let's also fix our solid layer and inside of the main composition place the pre -comp layer behind of the man just like this. And basically I will do the same steps and create three more walls by creating a new solid layer, pre comp it, changing the composition resolution and placing right behind of the man. Perfect. Now I'm gonna move the playhead here on the timeline and add a position keyframe to the walls. And at the first frame, I will move them down until they are no longer visible. Then let's convert the keyframes to easy and I'm gonna give a little smoothness just like this. And finally, we're gonna give 5 frame gap between each layer and here is how it looks so far. So let's go ahead and add the photos for each wall and place it correctly. You will find a couple screenshots from the assets folder. These are kind of same photos with the reference video. And this is how it looks in the main composition. Now let's turn back on the spotlights and create one more big spotlight on the scene to light up all the photos. Then we'll turn on the two view, place the spotlight on the scene like this and reduce the light intensity level to 90%. Now it's time to add some motion to the camera. First of all I will move the playhead at the second two and set the final placement like this and add a position keyframe. And at the first frame I will move the camera to the left side like this. And finally, I will open the two view and rotate the blue spotlight a little bit up so it can light up the ground as well. And here is the final result. With this in mind, we finished up our second animation. Now it's time to jump to the next one. First of all, let's create a new 1920 by 1080 composition and call it Scene 3. Then I will copy all the layers that we created from the Scene 1 and paste it to our new composition. And I'm gonna double click the camera layer and change the camera type to one node camera and click OK. So let's go ahead and recreate our scene. I will remove one of the photos from the left side and by changing the camera position we're gonna align these three photos to the center like so. Then I'm gonna select the main character and change its Y rotation to 180 and place it to the center just like that. After that we're gonna open the tool view and since we changed the character position on the scene we also need to replace our spotlight to the center as well. Awesome. Now I'm gonna add a position keyframe to the camera at the first frame and about 3 seconds later I will zoom into the scene just like that. Then I'm gonna open the spotlight settings and add a color and intensity keyframe at the first frame. I will change the color from the white to red and set the intensity to 162 and here is how it looks so far. Let's also duplicate the spotlight on our main character and give it that the same dark blue color. Looks way better now. We're almost done with the third scene, finally I'm gonna select all these pre layers, set the scale amount to 20 and place it up here on the scene. Then I'm gonna select the pre layer at the left side and change its Y rotation to minus 25. Then select the pre layer on the right side and set its rotation to plus 25. After that just reposition the pre layer in the scene and that wraps up our final shot. Thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen and if you want to start creating videos like this don't forget to check out Edit Master Academy. Take care yourself and I will see you in the next one.